Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Tech Tree, and in this video, we're looking at the top 40 companies in South Africa. So here they all are, and we're just gonna very quickly describe each one. So the first three are mining companies. This one bases on platinum, this is on general, and this one is on gold. Aspen is a pharmaceutical company. They make a lot of drugs, especially around HIV AIDS and all those type of things. Breit, as you'll remember from one of the previous videos, is a private equity company that is listed on the Jonesburg Stock Exchange, and they also want to get listing on the London Stock Exchange. Bidvest is a company, bit of like a conglomerate. They do a whole bunch of various things like logistics. They even have some financial companies as well. But yeah, they're kind of like a general all sorts. BHD Billington, it's another mining company. They also have operations in Australia. Barclays is a bank based in England, and they've purchased APSA Bank here in South Africa. British American Tobacco is one of the biggest companies in the world, and by their name, you can know that they sell cigarettes and various products like that. Uh, Capco, they buy property in England, and they're listed here on the South African Stock Exchange. Capitech is a new upcoming bank that is really growing quickly. They're doing a lot of exciting things, very innovative, but also quite small compared to the other banks in South Africa. Richmond is, was one of the Johan Rupert's companies, it's worth like Swiss luxury goods. I think it's also in the Swiss uh, stock exchange. And I think the only company bigger than them in this sector is Louis Vuitton. So they are, they are huge, 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 huge. Into Properties also, they're buying property in England and they listed here on the South African Stock Exchange. Growth Point, they buy a wide array of properties. So also in the property sector. First Rand, this is where you've got companies like First National Bank and, and other financial companies. So big uh, financial company that one discovery is a medical aid started by actuaries and is doing very well they are pushing into general insurance and banking and are becoming quite a big force in the financial sector investec they are an investment bank but they also offer normal banking services and they do a lot of corporate uh, business and finance and all that type of stuff also have a lot of operations overseas so they're trying to be like a big global player Kumba Iron Ore, they're a mining company that mines iron. Um, MMI Holding, the MMM stands for Metropolitan and Momentum. Those are two big uh, institutional investors here in South Africa selling life insurance. Uh, then we have MTN, they're a telecommunication company. They also have businesses in Iran and Nigeria, and they're one of the biggest yeah, telecommunication companies in Africa. Mr. Price sells clothes and that type of stuff. Mondi is a company that deals with paper and packaging. They also have operations in Russia and the rest of Europe. Naspers is our biggest company, and they started off as a media company, and they purchased a Chinese company called Tencent, which is the biggest Asian company. So they have a 30% holding in Tencent, and this has shot their price through the roof. If you had Naspers, you are super rich. Yeah, I think they've gone up like a 1,000% over the last few years. Nedbank, um, the NED in that stands for actually the Netherlands. This is a bank that has its roots from, from Holland, uh, but now they're all South African owned. And they have like a bit of a connection with Old Mutual, uh, which I'll get to. But NetCare, very quickly, medicine, does hospital stuff. Old Mutual and NetBank, they do kind of have a relationship. Old Mutual is the biggest um, life insurance company here in South Africa. They also have dealings in... Um, in what you call it, the London Stock Exchange, and their business is even in Mexico and all over the world. So really big company, Old Mutual, they hire lots and lots of actuaries. Um, RMB Holding and Rand Merchant Bank, again, this is another investment company that invests in other financial companies. Rand Merchant is also an investment bank, and they do, yeah, like I said, financial stuff. Rene Investments and Rem Grow, these ones are interesting. This one, it's also listed on the Luxembourg Stock Exchange. It's the second biggest company in Luxembourg. And it's kind of like a breakaway from Richmond. I don't really understand it too much because it's kind of like a new thing. Uh, but also Johan Rupert, so is Remgro. Remgro is also Johan Rupert and it's invested in a, a wide variety of other companies. So these are like investment companies that hold a whole bunch of, of smaller companies. Then we have Standard Bank. As you'll see from the last video, we'll, we were buying exchange traded notes from Standard Bank. Very big bank here in South Africa, also has a bit of an international footprint. ShopRite, this is like a grocery shop. They, you know, you can buy food and groceries from them. Sassel, Sassel's quite an interesting one. They can turn coal into oil and they're a chemical company. And yeah, very, very interesting. Quite correlated to the US dollar and, and various oil prices. 
Then we have Sunlum, which is another big life insurance company here in South Africa. And we have Tiger Brands, which makes food, food products. Vodacom, you should know from Vodafone, massive uh, international telecommunication company. And finally, we have Woolworths, which is kind of like in competition to ShopRite. They sell groceries to the, you know, the slightly richer people here in South Africa. But that is the top 40 shares. Um, if you have any questions on any of them, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. And also let me know which ones we should buy. Because look, we have got a demo account. We have been buying. Um, let's actually get a quick little overview. We've only been doing this for one day. So how we how have we been doing? We started with 100,000. And look, we've, we've already made two rent. We've already made two rent. So we're doing quite nicely. Um, I did go and buy British American Tobacco and MTN. And one of you did recommend that we buy Discovery. But if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below of those top 40 companies and we will add them to the portfolio. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for another video. Cheers.